You're watching Let the Quran Speak. Now we answer questions we've received from you, our viewers. If you have a question yourself, please visit our website, www.quranspeaks.com. Okay, Brother Shabir, the first question is um, a follow-up to our discussion, Who Goes to Heaven? And you said that um, if a non-Muslim were, were to do good deeds, there's a chance that that person would go to heaven. So the, question, the questioner is asking, uh, why should one be Muslim then? And why should one work so hard to do good deeds um, if it's possible for a non-Muslim to get to heaven? Mm -hmm. What I try to explain is that each person has a, a certain range um, of thinking and, and possibilities. And uh, the good person is the one who generally picks the, the good things out of that range of possibilities. Uh, so for, for the Muslim, the range of possibilities includes uh, also the kinds of good deeds we know from Islam. Some of them are, are, are difficult deeds, they, that's granted, like fasting for example. So the, the questioner naturally is asking, well if you say that a non-Muslim without praying and fasting is going to go to paradise, well, why should we, bother? Why should we even bother yes. praying and fast? Why bother be a Muslim? Why mm -hmm. not be a non-Muslim? Well, my answer to that is that uh, within the range of the Muslim, uh, to 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 choose to not be a Muslim is going on the bad side of that range. Uh, to choose to not pray, to choose to not fast is again to go to the bad side of that range. So you are going to be judged according to your range uh, of options. And of course you're going to be rewarded accordingly. You pray more, you fast more, you rise to higher stages in, in paradise. Uh, we, we should add something to this. In the Quran uh, we, we find uh, much uh, and uh, to dissuade a person from leaving Islam. For example, the Quran says whoever reneges from his religion and then dies as a non-believer, all of his deeds will be wasted. So, so that means once you have been guided, you should not turn away from that guidance. You, you are really picking the negative side uh, of your range of options mm -hmm. there. So should one also be motivated by a, a sort of relationship of love with God? Yes, yes, we shouldn't get into this mood of thinking, well, you know, I do, do this good thing, therefore I want to make sure that everybody does the same good thing, because maybe everybody will not be up to it. Maybe they don't have the same mindset, they don't have the same inclination, and so on. And sometimes people get into this idea that uh, if, I, if we don't do the good thing, God will punish us, so let me do the good thing. Mm -hmm. And then he's thinking, well, if I'm doing this good thing to avoid the punishment, Shouldn't the others be punished because mm -hmm. they're not doing the good thing? So we, we lock ourselves into a kind of negative worldview that, that includes God as a kind of uh, um, cruel uh, person ready to inflict pain and suffering on, on, on people. Mm -hmm. But rather we should think of it in the other way that uh, God is a loving being. He created us to receive his mercy and he's showing us the path towards that mercy. And uh, things are not always as black and white as we might have th thought, you know, uh, Muslims paradise, non-Muslims hellfire. But uh, to, begin with, the, the, to begin with, there is even a third place that is uh, little mentioned, but it exists. Uh, mm -hmm. the, the heights, as it is called in the Quran, and, and, and from which the seventh chapter of the Quran is named. The verses 40 th 42 to 46 of the seventh chapter speak about this heights. And uh, some of the Muslim scholars say that uh, those whose deeds are equal between good and bad will end up there. But some others have said also that a person who didn't know enough about Islam to make a, an intelligent judgment in, in, re in rejecting it uh, would also be in a lot off, which means that uh, they will be in a place where basically they're fine and they're, they're still hoping to go to paradise but they're definitely not in hell. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and, and of course if a Muslim goes to paradise it, it, even among Muslims, one, one would find that some Muslims are in higher levels of paradise than in some other, uh, than, than are some other Muslims, simply because they have performed more good deeds, or they were more sincere in their worship, or, or for, for whatever reason. Okay, so the next question, the Quran says that we should follow Allah and Muhammad. Does that mean we should follow the Hadith, or that we have to follow the Hadith? Couldn't it mean that by following Muhammad, we can just follow the Quran? In, in some cases, when the, when the Quran is telling you follow the Prophet Muhammad, uh, it, it may mean follow the Quran, and by so doing you are following the Prophet Muhammad, because that is the message that was revealed to him from God. But uh, in other cases, it seems that uh, the Prophet Muhammad is, uh, is singled out for, for following in, in such a pointed manner that it, it couldn't be just simply that 
to follow the Quran alone would mean following the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Otherwise, the, the Quran would be quite superfluous in its, in its terminology. Why not just simply say, follow this book? Why mm -hmm. keep saying, follow Muhammad? Uh, for example, the Quran says, uh, Whoever uh, has obeyed the Prophet has obeyed God. And um, uh, many other such passages uh, show uh, very pointedly that uh, Muslims are required to follow the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Uh, where Muslims have uh, taken this to an extreme, however, the following of the Prophet, peace be upon him, is that uh, they have tended uh, to, or some have tended, to uh, emphasize even very minute actions that he did not intend himself. Uh, to be followed. Mm -hmm. An example of this seems to have occurred in his own lifetime, according to one report anyway, where uh, he, he gave an opinion that he didn't think that grafting trees in the way that people did uh, would produce any, any good results. And uh, people then uh, took, uh, took, uh, took hold of this opinion of his, didn't graft the trees, and then they, felt they, they experienced a reduction in their crops. And, uh, or in the produce. And then uh, when they mentioned this back to him, he said, I only gave an opinion about that. I didn't uh, require you to follow me in that. So th there were many things that the Prophet, peace be upon him, may have said or did, uh, uh, not intending for his followers to pick up on that, because after all, he was a human being. He had to do all of the things that human beings do but he only did good things. And if Muslims followed him in doing good things, that's good, but we should not make that a part of our religion and insist on that uh, to be followed by everyone. All right, thank you for that, Brother Shabir. You're welcome. That's all the time we have for updates and additional information. Please visit our website, www.quranspeaks.com. And write to us, because your comments and questions help guide the show. I'm Sophia Ali. For all of us here at Let the Quran Speak, thank you for watching. I'll see you next week. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar.